Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this really cool black and red gothic Christmas tree from the help of my Hexmas baubles from Killstarco. Absolutely love them. So yeah, if you want to see how I created this tree, then please keep on watching. So first of all, I've got some black spray paint. I got this from my local like DIY shop, so I got it from B&Q. Got this cheap ass Christmas tree, four pounds it was, what a bargain, three foot. So it's like miniature, fits quite nicely in the corner of my room. So it starts off like this, I'm just assembling it right now. I'm just like, oh my God, this is like Tetris or something. No, I'm joking, it's quite easy. So once it was all assembled, I basically just spread out the leaves, is it leaves, branches, branches, whatever they're called, and began to spray it. So I obviously shook the can up just to make sure. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I'm dying right now from this plague. But yeah, I'm just spraying. Just even looking at the spray right now is just making me feel like wheezing and coughing. I need to get my inhaler. So yeah, I just basically sprayed the tree all over as best I could. Now, if I was to do this again, now with hindsight looking at this and doing this project, I would probably get maybe two or three cans because although it's not like noticeable too much, but if you look at it really closely, you can see that there's patches which I missed and a second or third can, like maybe two coats, would have you know eliminated that Right, so let's get on to the decorating. Here, so I've got my red lights here. It's got 200 LED fairy lights on it. So I start off with that, just wrapping it around the tree as you do. All the stuff I got from Amazon. So the tinsel, the lights, the black ball balls, everything except for basically the Killstar stuff I got from Amazon. Girl, what is you doing, honey? You look, you are not part of the Moulin Rouge. Please, please stop. Anyway, so I need to calm down. Do you like my Christmas hat though? It says Coco on it. Got that custom done, it was necessary. That also, Amazon. Honestly, I'm telling you, Amazon is like, I don't know, it's what I would imagine the afterlife to be like. It's just where everything exists. 
So now I'm just taking my Kill Star Co Hexmas Bauble. So you get 12 in the pack. So you get a star, you get like a skull, baby majig, and you get like a crescent, a moon shaped one. And yeah, they're, I think they're pretty cool. I think they're 9 99 So basically a tenner to purchase these bubbles. Um, yeah, so this is a little close up on them. Very lightweight, shatterproof. I did drop it at one point. Nothing happened, so we're good to go. And yeah, I have no like strategic placement for these. I'm just sort of placing them all over and any time it looks like any of them are about to match up or be consecutively next to each other, I just move them around and give them a bit of a shuffle. I guess that's the good thing about you know, doing Christmas decorations, it's not really like a technique. I guess there's some people out there, you know, that, you know, take it serious, you know, probably enter competitions and stuff. But yeah, this is just how I do it. <laughs> Just moving on to my now mini baubles from Amazon. So some of the glittery, some are matte, and some are shiny. Uh, you get 25 in this pack. I can't even remember how much these were. I think they're probably about tenner as well. I could be wrong. Oh look, Killstar Co mentioned me. What are the odds of that? They knew their ears were burning. You know when you're talking about someone and their ears start burning? Yeah, this is what happened here. But yeah. Um, <laughs> Basically, so I'm just placing these around so anyway in the gaps trying to hide some of the lights because basically those, those lights were long so basically if you've got a three foot tree 200 LED lights is way more than enough but I wanted it to glow I wanted it to glow like Satan was coming from the ground and I was descending into hell no I'm, <laughs> I'm joking so yeah anyway I am about to put the star on top it's a nice black glittery star to go with the theme and yeah I had a lot of aggro putting the star on that thing was heavy it was so heavy it was just like bloop, bloop, just dropping all over the place like a drunk little old man or something but yeah basically just fold the end over it made the like stem a little bit more sturdy and it kind of helped like I'm still messing about with it here like I was I was just like oh my god this thing is just weighing a ton but I got it in a position where it could hold its own. Alright George I think she's got it. So guys there you have it this is the final look. I like the theme of the black and the red I think it kind of ties together quite nicely. I thought to do something you know a little bit different and yeah, I kind of like it in the end, you know. I'm quite proud of it. Put a little bit of, I don't know, furniture, a little bit of decoration at the bottom just to go with it. Now it looks more like a Halloween Christmas tree, but here we are. So this is what it looks like with the lights off, everything's glowing, everything looks like you're about to descend to hell. No, I'm joking, but um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all in my next one. Have a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye guys.